Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Kato KA900 Voyager Max. It's an AM, FM, stereo, shortwave, weatherband alert, emergency radio with Bluetooth and MP3 recording and playback functionality. Here's the box that came in. Kato Voyager Max Emergency Radio. Be prepared for an emergency. Bluetooth, MP3, NOAA. Yeah, here we go. Got some side things here. Got some frequency ranges. Expanded FM for international. AM, shortwave, weather bands, MP3 player, Bluetooth version. I think they go over some more bullet points on this side. You guys can pause and read if you'd like. I'll try to go over most of all these. There you go. Uh, so this is their flagship radio, which I purchased uh, online on Amazon. You can get it between anywhere from 100 to 79. It kind of fluctuates a little bit. Sometimes you'll get a coupon. Keep an eye out for that if you're looking for this radio. So there you go. There's the box. So in the box, they give you some goodies. So let me just go ahead and lower this down. Show you the stuff they give you. This was really cool. They give you the T1 compact antenna. This is a 23-foot wire that you can hook up to the antenna to improve its reception. I thought this was a really neat thing for them to include. I'm a big proponent uh, for people who own emergency radios with shortwave or FM or no reception that need to have it extended so they can get those signals in to buy one of these because they're like inexpensive. It's like 10, 11 bucks, 12 bucks, and it can increase the reception twofold or sometimes threefold. It's amazing. Uh, definitely worthy investment and they included with the radio. Pretty happy to see that. USB charging cable, micro variety to charge the battery. It's 18650 lithium ion. Here we get a really cool user manual. Clear and concise, well written, well printed, uh, very easy to read. Uh, there's no uh, interesting Chinese to English translations. Whoever wrote this did a good job. Um, everything has a nice symbol with it, so as you can tell, um, very easy to follow. There's some specs on the back here, again, similar to what was on the box. Pause and look at that if you'd like. Power consumption, about 10 hours. Sounds about right for that size battery. And then what was in the box? Okay. We also get a cheat sheet to the radio. Kind of, It's just like one quick little overview of the radio, showing you what all the functions do. Nice to have. And then what I thought was really cool was this. They included an emergency preparedness guidebook. Really nice. Um, I think every emergency radio you buy should have one of these books in there. This is just great. This goes over what to do to prepare for a lot of different issues. You know, earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, uh, hurricanes, everything. Uh, what you should probably have put away or, or have a, a plan with your neighbors. It's just really good information. Um, a well-written book here by this author. Um, just great. Glad to see this in there. Uh, I think, every, like I said, every radio should have one of these, uh, if you're an emergency radio. Just very informative. Love it. Okay. Uh, they give you a limited warranty. Yay, it's right in California, so if you have any issues, call them. Get taken care of. All right, so let's get to the radio. Here is the radio. Okay, let's go over dimensions of this radio. We have 9.5 inches across, 5.5 inches tall, and a depth of 2.5 inches. For size comparison, I brought its little brother. It used to be the big brother. It is the Kato KA700. You guys might remember that. Nice yellow color. I like the yellow. <laughs> this will be yellow one day, I'm sure. Um, but there you go. It's definitely bigger than the 700 because they include two speakers. And this radio includes the shortwave. Otherwise, they're identical radios as far as the digital controls go. So there we go. So, yeah, if I don't touch on something here, it's definitely the same in this radio as far as the digital mode goes. All right, so set that aside. Let's get the camera back down and close. Show you what a deck of cards looks like. Iron Man out. There you go, deck of cards. Precise comparison there. All right. So let's go over features. Quite a few features on the radio. Left-hand side, we got the dynamo crank. Very simple, easy to use. In front of the radio, Kato K900. We have an inverted LCD screen. We have a charge indicator that turns red when the battery is being charged. We have a microphone port here for Bluetooth, uh, taking calls, 
and I believe uh, are also recording. We have the NOAA weather symbol. We have two a one and a half inch speakers. We have some buttons here. Right away you can see here's a numeric entry or direct entry of your frequencies and direct memory access to your MP3 card or to your presets. Memory uh, menu button, escape function for the menu. Uh, up here on top, we have a Bluetooth function, takes you right to your Bluetooth mode. We have radio MP3 function to get you to those modes. We have a shortwave uh, band button to get to shortwave. If you look, there's a little red uh, symbol there. That's the repeat function. So when you're in MP3 mode, all the uh, items in red are activated. So in MP3 mode, you have a repeat function there, and we'll just go through the repeat modes. Here we have an A to B repeat on the AM and weather band function button. The FM band button with pause and play. You can also stop, start and stop recording, which is nice. The power button. We've got no alert, so one touch alert button to go right to alert. Here we have a pause, uh, or sorry, mute uh, your audio and lock function. Here we have uh, memory down, memory up functions with recording and EQ. EQ is only available in the MP3 mode. Here we have the minus and plus. This is to seek down and seek forward in the uh, radio mode and of course seek back seek forward track back track forward in mp3 mode okay and it shows you the numeric keypad top of the radio we have this carrying strap which is really nice i like this this is similar to the k 700s um, very just very durable uh, we have an sd card slot which supports 32 gigabytes i have a 16 gigabyte in there now uh, we have a switch for the lights we have a reading lamp on the back here which has the five leds and we have a flashlight here on the right hand side which i'll show you um, definitely improved on the flashlight mode. So there is the flashlight. It has a really deep well with a quite a big uh, reflector there. And definitely improvement over the 700 intensity. I really uh, was surprised because it didn't look like much from inside there. But it's very bright. Here we have a tuning knob. It's indented. It's digitally controlled. Here we have an analog volume control there. Very smooth and easy to operate. Uh, let's see what else we got in the back of the radio. Yeah, let's get to the back. So we got a solar panel, fairly large, which pivots up to show you your five reading lamp LEDs. There you go, and those are pretty bright. And I'll try to turn the lights off when we do an audio test so you guys can see how those lights work. I got this cutout design. I do like this color, this uh, gunmetal metallic. Looks really nice. Got the mile number. Uh, the battery is in there. I'm not going to try to pull that door open on camera, but the positives to the right. It's a replaceable 18650 uh, cell. Uh, you can, they say to use theirs only, uh, but if you use a protected uh, button-topped cell, that's what's in there. So 18650, 3.5 volt, 2,000 milliamp hour rated. Uh, here behind this jacket, we have a bunch of ports. Uh, let's see, let's start going over to the top one there. The headphone jack, uh, it's FM stereo. Uh, it sounds uh, real bassy, so if you love bass, you're going to like this. I'm not a fan, so I probably won't use it, but uh, for those who like bass, it'll be enjoyable. I'm trying to get that focus. Not my hand. There's a line in jack for uh, inputting devices, you know, for MP3 players. You can input directly to the radio. Well, I thought that was handy. Here we have a charge indicator. So you always have it on in when you want to charge the internal battery. Have it on out when you want to charge your external devices with this port here. DC in to 5 volts. This is to charge the internal lithium battery. We have the, of course, charging out for your phones or your tablets or whatever you have to charge. And then here we have a DC in of 6 volts for an optional AC adapter you can buy. Uh, to be honest with you, you really don't need that. But the nice thing about that, that allows you to run the radio and charge the battery at the same time. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and push that shut there. All right. Let's go back to the front of the radio. And we will talk about FM reception. FM reception report, FM sensitivity was very good. I found 79 stations on FM. Uh, really amazed by the FM reception. It's, and it sounds fantastic with the stereo. I can't, ex I mean, for an emergency radio, I didn't expect it. I thought, wow, why, why did they do two speakers? I don't get it. But with this radio, I mean, it's it's pretty much about, like, stereo. I mean, it's amazing. It just sounds really, really good. I mean, this is more of a multimedia device than it is an emergency device. It does everything well as far as the audio goes. Just sounds spectacular. Um, FM selectivity, got a little off tangent there, uh, is good to very good. Uh, so you'll enjoy that. Uh, so, yeah, overall, FM is just amazing on this radio. Uh, very surprised. Um, so definitely a step up. And like I said, the sound audio quality coming out of here is just simply just amazing. I love it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I think I'll get the NOAA weather band. Oh, press and hold. Kato, you can change the contrast in the menu and we'll go over the menu settings. Mostly 
chance of light rain and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 40s. South winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we have weather band, frequency we're on, battery level indicator. You can turn this, change the channel. Wednesday night through Thursday evening. Tonight, west winds and in the east and the Chicago area. The current time is 5.42. Not bad for not extending the antenna. <laughs> it's very good. Areas to the upper 20s in the city. Saturday, mostly cloudy. Highs in the lower 30s. Okay, so... Yeah, that's uh, your weather band, and you can go right to alert by hitting this button. Now it's, it'll turn on. If the alert mode comes through, it'll play at the current volume you have it set at and the current channel you have it set on. Lower 30s. Hit that to exit that. Lows in the mid 20s. You can mute. Thank you. Get a mute symbol. Chance of light rain. Of course, you can lock down the radio. The Highs in the upper 30s. Monday night and New Year's Day. Partly cloudy. Okay, so let's do an audio Lower test with this. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the MP3 mode. Tapping that. So here we go. Let's go show you the MP3 mode. So you'll have uh, elapsed time and time remaining. Uh, we have normal, and that's the EQ setting, which is here. Pop, rock, jazz, classical, soft, deep bass boost, and normal. Repeat function all. This is showing what track it's on. That's on track 7 of 16 on the memory card. And it'll do all those. And repeat function here you can change to do all in one folder. So you get multiple folders. One song over and over again. A random repeat. And then back to all repeat. So we'll do a little test here, and I'll show you the lights in the dark.
pretty neat. Now, a cool thing about emergency radios is they have MP3 playback. I love the fact that uh, you can add different files, like I have old-time radio shows on here. Show you those. I'm trying to remember where they're at. the territory on west. There's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with the U.S. Marshal and the smell of... Detective. Lipton Tea and Lipton Soup present Inner Sanctum Mysteries. Nearly steady in the upper 20s. So, a neat thing is you can record right from the radio. So, I recorded this broadcast. Cloudy with a 20% chance of light rain and light snow in the morning, then partly sunny in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 40s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows around 30. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Wednesday, and then I record, I think, off the AM band. On the front lawn of a Texas town is turning some heads. He is not away in a manger. Baby Jesus is behind bars. Controversial nativity scene in the front yard of an Austin, Texas home displays the infant Christ child in the type of containment cage utilized by ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. The homeowner says if you know your history and you know the story of the nativity scene, then you don't see this as political. Okay, so you get an idea how that MP3 player works. Pretty basic. Um, so let's go ahead, uh, we'll exit the MP3 functions. And we will go to the menu. So let's show you what the menu looks like. Let's see uh, here, radio. Okay, we got, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this here. I think you want to go escape. Okay, so it has, here's the menu. Uh, radio play, you got music for your MP3. You can go right to your text browser. Now text browser is nice. Uh, also on your micro SD card, you can put text files like emergency preparedness, like that book, but you know you can have it on file. You could have a address list, uh, quick things to, to grab, an emergency. Just a nice thing to have. I actually just have a simple uh, uh, text file on here. I'll show you. Just menu to select, and I have, and you can scroll with the tuning knob here. So I have radio stations. So I'm gonna hit menu to select that, and you can see it's showing my call sign, frequency, location, miles for those stations. It's kind of neat to have on the radio. And you scroll the text file by moving the tuning knob. I'm scrolling down the file, as you can see. It's pretty neat. Uh, very handy. Uh, I actually think it's really cool for having lists of things you need and contacts. And it's all on the radio. So if you had to grab one thing, it's all here. You know, all your information. All, it's all in, in the files on the card, which is great. So, I I'd show that to you. so let's escape that function. So it takes you back. You'll see uh, it's got another one here. It's got system settings, calendar. Calendar is pretty basic. Um, it has just a basic calendar, which I can show you. Gives you the date, the time, day of the week. Escape that function. We'll go to the settings, which is pretty cool. So this radio has a timed record feature. Uh, it just what it does. It's like turning the radio on and starts recording. That's all it does. It doesn't stop recording. It just starts. Of course, if you don't go quick enough, it automatically takes you off that mode. So let's go ahead. System time, set languages. 
uh, duration of backlight. Right now, the backlight's set on a pretty high setting. Right now, it's 156 um, seconds. You can go up to 240 and down to three seconds. There's contrast. We have the timer alarm recording setup, factory set, and exit. So under the recording feature, there is a uh, different function, sleep timer, touch tone, so you can turn on and off the beep tone. Alarm and recording, you go into there, turn on the alarm, and it'll, you just choose the alarm mode. The alarm mode is beep, radio play, radio recording, or MP3 file, so you can do any of those when the alarm is active. Just remember that when you do radio recording, it just starts the recording at that time. It does not stop it. But you can have it start uh, the alarm certain days of the week, like Monday through Friday only, which is kind of nice. So it does have the alarm cycle here. So you can have it ring multi-day, which I can do that. And you can select which days you want it to go. So it's kind of nice for recording shows on certain days. So that's how that works. Escape there. All right, so you got a little bit of the alarm. Let's get to the radio. Show you kind of how this thing tunes. Because you know, these menus can drive you nuts. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit radio here. Tree that sits behind the White House. Lows in the mid 20s. Okay, we'll go Monday. to AM. Get back change ups. And it's two and two. So I found out AM is uh, good for local broadcast only. Um, anything distant, uh, it has issues with. There's a little crackling, uh, like digital sounds. I think this uh, radio needs to be improved over time because it just came out, so I'm assuming there's going to be a few bugs for a while. I see them improving it because the K700's AM is a little bit better than this one. Yeah, current time is 5.53 p.m. Central Standard. This is WLW. I should be able to pick this up pretty clear. This guy who became a mule, if you will, a courier for the cartel, There's CFZN, Toronto, Ontario. So you can direct entry to like 750 AM. That's Atlanta, not coming in great. Like I noticed with this radio on the top end of the band, it falls short. Whoops. Kind of messed that up there. Let's do it. 40. It definitely has some kind of problem on the top of the band here. I have nothing on making that noise. Here's KCJJ in my Iowa City. But this is how you tune it right there. You can also seek this button. Press and hold and it'll seek to the nearest station it can find. Let's see if it picks up anything. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't, for some reason, pass 1200. It, it doesn't pick up a whole lot, so wow! Come on, stop. and pieces delivers quality. So it's picking up locals only on the scan. The KDK Pittsburgh. WHO. And we'll do some band scans, but uh, for this radio, FM is where it's at. AM locals only, shortwave in a pinch. Shortwave is just, it's not spectacular, it's just the basics um, as far as reception goes. So there's that. Um, also, we'll talk about presets. You get 132 presets on the AM, and to add one, you just hit menu, and it'll say save, and it's, if you want to save the station, you can delete the station, you can delete all the memories, you can do auto scan with the auto search feature there um, under the menu setting, and then also you can do your 9K, 10K switching. Step switch here, you can change it to 9 or 10K. So now I went to 9. So if you want to go back to 10, just go back there, hit menu again, it'll take you back to 10. So there you are on that. So pretty simple. Let's, uh, I guess let's go shortwave and show you what that looks like. So it's set up in 12 bands, which is crazy, I know. <laughs> and let me just look up a wire just to see if we get anything worth a shot, since they give you a wire with it. Okay, so a couple of wire there. Let's just put in what I normally would find. Yeah, 
You can also seek through the band and it can look for a stronger station. Typically you won't find it. You have to manually tune it, I've noticed. And of course it'll get to the end of the band. So if you want to stop, just hit that button. It does make a little popping sound when it exits that mode. It's something to do with the digital circuit, I guess. So let's go ahead and just go up one. Manually tune this up. So we're going Cuba. So I don't know if I said it. Uh, so for presets on Shorewave, you get 928. What? <laughs> this radio will not get 928 stations, but it's there. Um, FM, 440. I don't know if I mentioned that also, but there you go. Chinese companies to or mitigate uh, certain risk. Uh, so this is really something very natural. Nice. Cool thing is, record. Now it's recording. 32K. Uh, frequency of 32K and uh, kilohertz. And then you got 128 kilobits per second. And this is the elapsed recording, and this is how much time you have left. If you look, it looks like it has 273 hours. It does add the date to the file, which is nice. You can pause the recording by hitting a pause button. So if you wanted to stop. I don't know why I muted it, but start it again. Pause it again. There you go. And then when you're done with the file recording, you can hit escape. Por nueve mil quinientos treinta y cinco kilohertz. A partir de este momento, Radio Habana Cuba dejará de transmitir Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Do final thoughts on the radio. Goodbye. All right. Track the antenna. So yeah, this went over a lot of stuff with this radio. Like I said, we'll do a medium wave, short wave band scan during the night uh, just to kind of show what this, this does, what it's capable of. Uh, don't be excited about medium wave. I did not have a good experience with it. It's it's one of its shortfalls. Sure, we seem to be okay there tonight, so that's good. Uh, glad to hear that because I was outside during the day and I wasn't picking up much. But uh, tonight with that little wire hooked up, made a big difference. So yeah, it was nice to hear those stations coming in. Um, overall, this radio gets a maybe recommended buy. The reason why I say that is it's not quite perfect yet. Um, if they improve the AM reception, uh, I would be really happy with that. And of course, that cutting out that was happening with the recording the shortwave, I didn't have that when I was recording AM or when I was recording the NOAA weather band or FM. So I don't know if that's just with the shortwave or not. It might have been uh, the signal because I was moving the radio around. It might have been cutting the signal off by uh, doing those things. So one of those things to watch out for. It's not a perfect radio quite yet, uh, but it's not bad. The big pluses are the FM stereo sounds fantastic. The FM reception is amazing. The no weather band is amazing. So if your only your main intentions is to have a great light source, which this does, this is an amazing light source. I really enjoy it. A good power bank feature with the lithium ion cell, uh, which is replaceable. I like that also. Um, you have direct entry keypad. You have your MP3 playback and Bluetooth mode. We didn't get to talk about that, but uh, Bluetooth works fantastic and the stereo sounds amazing with Bluetooth. So all that is, is big bonuses. So if you're buying this radio and you want the full package, the AM, shortwave FM, everything to work perfect, it's not. It's not working perfect. So that's why it gets a maybe. This is for the person who wants emergency radio, first and foremost for a NOAA weather alert and for FM playback, you know, FM uh, reception and MP3 player and Bluetooth functions. If you want AM for locals, you're good to go. If you want anything distance, uh, it's not going to be fun, especially in the upper part of the band. And of course, shortwave, kind of in a pinch. It's not fantastic. It's okay. So there you go. In a, in a nutshell, should you buy this K900, it's kind of a maybe. I personally, my choice would be this one still um, because the AM reception is better on this radio. And I don't need to have stereo, even though I like stereo. Uh, but for emergency radio, I don't need to have stereo. 
uh, this one functions very well. So for me, I would recommend this radio, even though it doesn't have shortwave. I don't necessarily need shortwave in an emergency situation. Um, I just think that's kind of an extra luxury. Uh, but this would be the radio I would probably grab if I wanted a digital display and compact functionality. But that is me, and it's up to you to decide what you want or need for your family. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the presentation of the KA900. Like I said, we'll do some band scans, talk more about this radio. There's a lot to talk about. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're new and you like Cato products. I try to do reviews on these all the time. Um, hit the bell icon to get notified. Uh, three, comment below what you think about the Cato KA900. Uh, it would be something you'd go, go for. Personally, I would wait just a little bit to see if they can work out the little nuances there with the uh, AM reception because uh, you're going to see it in the band scan that it's, it's not spectacular. So it's just it's just okay. Uh, but that, that's my opinion on it. I would buy the KA700. This would come second. If you got to have stereo and you want the best FM sounding experience, you go with this radio. But if you're just about, all about emergency, KA700 gets in my book. So there you go. Uh, glad you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next. Take care and goodbye.